every day, you know, as I open my schedule book, it's really just kind of a suggestion or a guideline because you never know what's going to really happen. Every hour is a, a journey. Before you know it, by the end of the day, you know, you look at clock and you know, it's over because you know, it's a lot of work going on in the daytime. Every day my phone rings, my email receives a thousand different questions and we're helping kind of the shepherd of getting everything answered. My morning routine is I get with my guys and we get a game plan, check with some GCs, see where they're working and where we're going to work and riding around the job and checking on things and, and uh, just trying to get a day to day of, of what we did the day before and, and how we can move forward and make progress. I oversee all the building construction uh, on a day to day basis. We're problem solvers, we're traffic cops. We're assisting to make sure it's getting built properly and correctly. What we're doing is uh, looking from the big idea of to seeing it built and down to the finest detail. I'm a partner with HGOR. We're the landscape architect and uh, master planner for the assembly project. There's a bazillion talented people out here building stuff and we got to make sure to get them timely answers. It's a massive undertaking. Uh, you've got uh, almost a thousand people out here working. Uh, you have all kinds of trades from electrical to concrete to steel to grading, all, everything out here. As the project morphs, the days morph into what we do. As soon as the first load of dirt we left out, we're still here and we're going to be here to the end to the fine grading and the grass is here. The building's coming up itself in the short amount of time that we've been here. You know, it's just amazing to see what all we've done so far and how big these buildings are. From day one, Jay Gibson came to us and said, I've got an idea. And our mission was to illustrate the idea of the idea. So we put pen to paper. My mission every day is how do we stay true to what the, the dream, the vision of this mission is. We don't compromise at all what it's going to be for people boots on the ground every day. I've done a lot of big buildings, but this thing, this is a bucket list. Now, I just think that this is a heck of a group of people and that I'm proud to be a part of it. What I'm looking forward to is the day these gates roll open and there's 4,000 people working here and be in this little city that we're making. It's going to be energy for, for Doraville, for the city of Atlanta, and for, for all of Atlanta to come and experience and be a part of. We're just opening a whole new world in a development that doesn't exist in Georgia anywhere. And this is something so different than everything else that's here. It's so uniquely different.